Hmm. Hey, Chidorin. Wait, is everything okay? Oh, there we go. Somehow my... My Twitch was like, no, you're not live anymore. <laughs> hey, Bencho, hey, Bea. Everything's fine, just a Twitch hiccup. I am not prepared. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I definitely am not prepared today. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, there we go. <sighs> right, so we're back to the Vegna clock connected to the bomb. Or Yeah. Uh, the second hand of the clock ticked past midnight. Okay. October 4th ended and the curtain rose on October 5th, 1986. Hey, Mothchen. The switch was still pointing to the left. The witch's words had been proven correct. With a hideous, sweat-covered expression, Eva snatched the cash card away from the witch's hand. Eva and Kiria both took out a pen and notepad and began writing the eight-digit number the witch told them. Oh my god. Oh lord. What's gonna happen, guys? <laughs> I'm scared. これで私から皆さんへ伝えること、そして受け渡すことは全て終わりです。もう私は自ら何も喋りません。役目をすべて終えましたので。After saying this, the witch spun around and sat down on the bed. Okay. <laughs> I see, opinions are divided. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she wasn't even looking at the others anymore. She sat there like an empty husk, which had, just as she had said, finished everything it existed to do. Time to relive it all back again and sit back and let it play out. Oh god. Oh lord. Oh lord. For a while, everyone watched the witch to see if she would remember something else and start talking. However, she said nothing further. The witch who had called herself one of the dead was now little more than a little French doll wearing a black dress. Gold is the only physical embodiment of magic that can appear in the human world. Since ancient times, even a small fragment of it could control man with its magic. I mean, yeah, I guess you could put it that way. <laughs> in that case, how much magic power would dwell in it? If it was piled up in a mountain so high, you'd have to look up to see the top. <laughs> The yells of the people dancing around the gold reverberated throughout the underground room. In front of the pile of gold, they were arguing about how it should be split. わたしたち兄弟4人で解いたのよ。4等分で当然でしょうが。卑劣な黄金の分配については、あなたたちが提案したのではないですか。それを勝手に保護にするなんて。取引できる立場だと思ってんのか。いやいや、だ、that's one good
Oh, I missed your other reply. Um, even though you know what happens, you don't think you're prepared. Okay. <laughs> Ominous. Okay. もう親父が死んでることを隠してるくせに。そう、そうよ。私たちをずっと欺いて、お父様の財産を私物化してきたくせに。それを敬やみするぶんも、すべて含めてチャラにして、仲良く4等分。仲良くしせず。フェアな話
filled with a cacophony of angry outbursts. Of course. Of course. Yeah, all, all of that, everything is just coming out to play. <laughs> it is so human. There's nothing magical about it. This is just purely human. I'm, yeah. <laughs> ay, ay. I'm, I'm laughing because I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Okay. No. Air's mouth wants to believe in them. Inja's face was starting to contort with pain after being forced to watch this scene for so long. It was only natural after being shown this abusive argument between her parents and her other relatives. <laughs> yep. It was painful for Leon too. Leon would have tried to intervene and calm them if that had been possible. Unfortunately, he, this version of you don't, doesn't exist in their world, so... Yeah. The gold wouldn't go anywhere. If they just took their time and thought about it calmly, they would be able to resolve this. Ah, but to resolve this, they would have to trust each other. Mm hmm. <laughs> And then there's the added spice and, and pepper of the, the, the bomb existing, you know. Or the... Not the one bomb, I guess. The, the explosive system that's in place. Uh, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Eva and the others had argued that they needed a lot of money before the end of the year, which was understandable. However, the billion yen cash card would be more than enough to pay for that. With their emergency expenses taken care of, they could liquidate the gold at their leisure, then just split it amongst themselves. Sure, maybe Kraus was the only one capable of converting the gold. That might give him an advantage over the other siblings. However, this gold couldn't be dealt with by open means. In addition to attracting public attention, it would also lead to various legal problems. It was better for the secret money to remain secret. If they wanted to get the largest portions possible, then they should all agree not to tell anyone about this gold. In other words, to maximize their profits, they needed a gentleman's agreement that all of them would keep the secret. Kraus did have a slight advantage, however it was possible for the other relatives to refuse to cooperate and tell the world about the gold. Then nobody gets the gold. And then there was also the uh, concealment of Kinzo's death to consider. Uh, consider. Kraus was an investor. He needed not only financial clout, but also a certain degree of public confidence. His advantage wasn't big enough for him to act so overbearing. Yep. Yeah, she probably has a bu bucket of, of popcorn with her too. <laughs> Courtesy of Lambda. <laughs> By now, even I didn't have a clue who was showing us this or for what reason. At the very least, it doesn't look as though this new tale is overflowing with affection. <laughs> you can say that again. At first, I thought it was a tale of a beautiful world where no crime occurred, since Claire had gotten past all of her regrets. Well... Well... <sighs> but something's different. This tale is clearly filled with ill will towards us. I'm sure of that much now, but I don't have a clue who would want to show us this. Ooh. <laughs> Suddenly a loud explosion rang out. It didn't feel like the sound of gunfire. <laughs> 
the novel. <laughs> Uses a gunfire sound effect. The text. It didn't feel like the sound of gunfire. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, after all, most people living a normal life never he hear that sound. Ah, so it just it just didn't feel like it, but it actually was. It was kind of like unbelievable. Okay, got it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. The sound of thick raindrops hitting the floor. Yeah, it's raindrops. All right. There was no rain in this underground room. It was the sound of blood dripping down from Natsuhi's right eye. God. The bullet had gone in through her right eye towards the back of her head. Yeah, sure, Eva. <laughs> Natsuhi never catches a break, no, <laughs> poor her. <laughs> The gun, which fell from Eva's grasp, landed on the floor with a hard metallic clang. Had they healed a oh, bunch. As though in response to that sound, Natsuhi's head slowly turned to face the ceiling. Natsuhi! Natsuhi! Natsuhi flopped backwards. When the back of her head hit the floor, a red splash spread out beneath it, forming a single flower to adorn her dead face. I did not miss this kind of text. I gotta say. Natsuhi! <laughs> Eva! And are we gonna have a gunfire fight? Klaus howled, raised his gun, and ran at Eva. At the same time, Hideyoshi leapt between them. A scuffle broke out between the two men. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to. I, I don't need more. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. <laughs> クラウスおい、had lost all traces of rationality in his expression. He was so furious that if he had knocked Hideyoshi aside and jumped at Eva, he might have torn her throat out. Ah. You know, recently I saw a TV series where a character is murdered like that. It was really unexpected. <laughs> So, just reading that takes me back there. Yeah. Alright. Hey Viberum. You missed the Ushirumiya siblings uh, getting crazy over the gold and now shooting each other. That's where we are. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm not happy. I just... At this point, my reactions to, to the, this kind of scenes, it, it, there's such a weird mix of emotions. Because I'm no longer this 
uh, naive, shocked uh, little mouse <laughs> from the episode one, the first time the uh, uh, murder started rolling out. Um, and at the same time, I'm still uncomfortable with them, but I'm kind of nervous laughing at them. And I just it's, this one is just exacerbated by the whole madness of the situation infused with the craziness of the gold and all of the stuff and yeah it's just oh gosh <laughs> there's a castle activated <laughs> yeah i just I, I i guess i find things to laugh at just <laughs> to overcome the weird mix that I don't even know what to call that my emotions are in right now. <laughs> what can I say? Basically, the Shiraz siblings are fighting over the goal like they did with the inheritance, except it's escalated a bit. <laughs> a bit? <laughs> a bit is an understatement. Alright, oh, another explosion rang out. Hideyoshi's face was covered with blood. Oh gosh. The two of them had been fighting over the gun cow's held, trying to push it away from themselves. Of course. When the barrel had turned to point at Krauss's chin, the sneering formless reaper, master of the room of gold. The sneering formless reaper, master of the room of gold, had swung its scythe once more. I see. A line of blood trickled from Krauss's mouth. <laughs> The two fell down with Krauss's body on top of Hideyoshi. Letting out a cowardly cry, Hideyoshi backed away before Krauss's body could cover him. One could call this death by shooting. I'm not good at making jokes. <laughs> oh lord. Uh, I like how Kitty is just like flat faced. <laughs> As the pair of them broke down sobbing and repeatedly claiming that it was all an accident, Rosa and the others were unable to say a thing. Oh my god. The witch also watched the scene but said nothing and appeared to be completely disinterested. わ、わしらは悪ないで。ジコやで。ジコ。見てたよ。な。な。ようだも見てたでしょ。クラウスにさんも脱ひねさんも感情的になって突っかかってくるから。さあね。私には分からないわ。Interesting how composed Rosa is. <laughs> How are they so composed? Oh my god! I guess they're spinning it in their heads as like, oh, this is something that we can use to our advantage, but like... How can you think that in the moment? Hi. Rosa's and Rudolf's gazes looked very cold and indifferent to Eva and her husband. Yeah, what about your dead brother on the floor? Yeah. Weren't you earlier, like... <laughs> not that it's anything defensible about 
hiding at the dead body of Kinzo for almost two years. But weren't you were earlier criticizing Chaos uh, for that and like being, you know, positioning yourself as like in a higher uh, place than that, like you're above it? Well, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Typical Ushuramiya Thursday. Well, it seems that Rosa and Rudolf don't really have that intention. ムリよ。警察を誤魔化するわけないわ。Oh, the wind. Hmm. Though Eva had been scratching at her head, overcome with emotion, her arms suddenly fell as though their strings had been cut. Even if we burn them. <laughs> Oof. Oof. <laughs> How about the bomb? Motto. Yes. Eva slowly walked forward, tapped on it, and spoke. Props to Eva's voice actress. My god, is that creepy? What? Oh. Oh. As she played with the switch that would cause an automatic explosion at midnight, Eva spun around to face them, a crazed expression on her face. Can't investigate the island if there is no island! Yeah! <laughs> She sounds so unhinged right now, one of their base voice acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Is this Eva Trice? It's coming out. It's coming out. It was truly a mad inspiration. If they flipped the switch to the right and waited for midnight. Yeah, that's just a little bit less than 24 hours from now. Um, wait, midnight? Midnight or 12 o'clock? Does the, does the clock know the difference? Anyway. If they flipped the switch to the right and waited for midnight, the 900 tons of explosives would wipe out the mansion without a trace. There wouldn't even be remnants of the corpses. There would be no way to tell that they had died by gunshot wounds before the explosion. Oh, I believe you, Moschan. I believe you completely. Yeah, let's see. この島に戦争中の爆薬が未だに残ってるというのは紛れもない事実。それが明日の夜偶然何かの表紙に間違って爆発してしまうのよ。そう。これは事故。爆発事故。<笑> <それが明日の夜>、<笑> 
絶対に警察にはわからないこれならごまかせる<笑>二人の死体をごまかせる<笑>ねえバカな。<sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm taking it that it, it, it implies that it won't just be the two people. Mm, but at this point, whatever. Uh, did I miss something? No. Okay. Shaking, Hideyoshi frantically searched for a counter argument, hoping to repudiate Eva's mad idea, but he couldn't find one. If they blew everything up, the facts would all be muddled. They could make it look as though Klaus and Natsuki had died in an explosion accident. Okay, this this is a human mind at play, rushing in, trying to make sense of things and justify things, <laughs> especially in a, such a situation with like heightened emotions and all of the yeah. Okay, oh god. Everyone else just went to the tea party in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> But they did mention something like Kuadorian would be fine? Or did I catch that wrong? That it wouldn't be the whole island? I'm not sure. Natsuhi stayed inside with the headache. Oh, <laughs> Natsuhi. Hi. Nee, so de sho, anta tachi. Suji ga ki wa tektou ni kangaeru wa? Tonikaku atashi tachi wa tamatama ashita no yoru. Yeah, there it is. There, they will happen to be in the hidden mansion. ここで偶然爆発事故が起こってなお逃れた。そういう筋書きにすればいいのよ。何をどういう筋書きにするつもりよ。クラウス兄さんと夏日姉さんだけを残して。Yeah, this is the exact moment where you get to bully and then say, tell your little sister how stupid she is. Yeah, that the perfect choice, Eva. Again. Uh... Yeah, so Natsuhi had to stay because of a headache, and Klaus had to stay with her because he was her husband, I see. Everything is so unhinged and out of control. <laughs> お前つくんや。お前だけに背負わせとるわけないで、みんなで背負うんやで。大丈夫。大丈夫や。必ずうまい言い訳が思いつくんや。それはどんな言い訳なの?クラウス兄さんと夏日姉さんの二人だけを
そのめちゃくちゃを考えるのが私たちの仕事でしょう何を他人ずらしてんのよあんたたちも考えてよ考えなさいよ姉さん Oh no Oh no that's face on Rosa Have we seen this before? This looks very special and not something you often get to see Episode 2 table scene I'm Trying to place it Episode 2 uh, Oh yeah 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 okay 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 I think I'm yeah only Maria gets that rosa face. Oof. Oof. Bacho, what's happening? <laughs> oh, all the hard hitting jokes. What <laughs> それをミスミス吹き飛ばすつもりそんなの運べばいいじゃない運べば爆発は明日の24時まるまる1日あるのよみんなで運べばなんとか<笑> Yeah, if, if we just carry it together it's gonna be fine it, it doesn't matter to some several tons tons of it no, no, no <laughs> はい。10トンあるのよ。お米の袋を担ぐのもやっとの私たちが一体どの程度の量をたったの1日で島の反対側まで通じる長い地下道を徒歩で往復して運ぶっていうのよ。I <笑> see I must turn is matching the level of humor. <笑> uh. But just being possessed by Barcassin at the moment. <laughs> it's okay. We need the laugh. God knows we need the laugh. <laughs> um, I guess now we can uh, understand uh, Burn a little bit. <laughs> that she's probably coping with something too when she's like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh. それこそむちゃくちゃだわ。これカードがあるじゃない。さっきあの女から受け取った10億円の入ったカードが黄金は運べるだけ運べばいい。それを別にしても私たちには10億円が入ったカードがあるわ。3等分しても分け前は最低3
雨のバラ庭園で銃を持った兄さんたちと取っ組み合いになったかについてはそれこそ姉さんに言い訳を考えてもらうわ Again, I don't really know much about guns, but when you、um, put them under that amount of heavy falling rain, do they still work? I had this question in the beginning as well. <laughs> At some point, I let it go, but now it's coming back again. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. いいじゃない別に何十年も食らい込むわけじゃないだって事故なんでしょほんの数年で出てこられるわよ罪を償ってきれいになって戻ってきたら姉さんの分の黄金50億を好きにすればいい嫌よ絶対に嫌よ It depends on the gun. Yeah, could be. <laughs> うちの人の会社はどうなるのよ別にいいじゃない会社なんて50億もあるんだからもう働くのもバカバカしいんじゃないロザは never intended to go along with the idea Eva proposed As far as the size of each person's portion went, no one had anything to gain from an explosion accident. By doing that, they could conceal Krauss and Natsuhi's deaths. There was no other reason to do it. From Rosa's perspective, the ideal outcome would be for them to confess to their crimes without any unnecessary tricks. All she wanted to do was to change the crime scene from here to a different place. However, Eva didn't want to be arrested. She didn't like having her share shrink from 5 billion to 300 million, but even that was more than enough to cover the amount she had been trying to wring out of Kraus in the first place. She wanted to hide what had happened here, even if it meant blowing away 4.7 billion yen. What would happen if they were arrested? The life, the company, and the trust that Eva and her husband had worked so long to build, those were things that couldn't be bought back with money. So she wanted to hide Kraus and Natsuhi's deaths, even if it meant blowing up all 4.7 billion yen worth of her gold. But from Rosa's perspective, that was just irrational nonsense. There we are. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Rosa has a gun too. Oh my god. 私も暴発ということで殺すの言い訳がますます難しくなるわよそれどころかクラウス兄さんたちのことも事故とは言い難くなるんじゃないかしら残人もの死に関わったらかなりの大事件だわイエッいやいや for sure <laughs> huge props to the voice actors おそらく休憩は死刑妥当なところで無期懲役軽くても10年以上は食らい込みそうねおとなしく自首しなさいよそうすれば不幸な事故がたまたま重なったことで済ませられるわ All this is happening while um b e t t j or however we want to call her I'm not even sure at this point She's just sitting calmly on the, the bed or something, like somewhere in the corner of the room, right? <laughs> uh, no witches needed for these delusions that are flying about here. No, no. No witches and no magic needed here. Muro, cake is not a nice thing. Georgie, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what 姉さんの取り分の50億はきっちり手つかずで残しておいてあげるから安心して Eva ground her teeth and glared The Rosa she knew should have been shaking and obeying her commands And yet Rosa wasn't scared Her blank expression No, that slight smile Was one that Eva had never seen before. 
頭を冷やせば私の提案が最善だとわかるはずいいじゃない刑務所経済行為で考えてみて仮に10年くらうとしても釈放されれば50億が待ってるそれって年収5億のお仕事ってことでしょそう思えばお勤めも楽しくなるんじゃない嘘だわあんたはその間に私たちの取り分も取って逃げる気よあんたの男がそうしたようにね<笑>うちの人のことは関係ないでしょ私は逃げないわよお金を持ち逃げなんて絶対に<笑>絶対にしないわよロサスワンストーニーエクスプレッションはスピルドウィッドレイジアーロブローベリーロブロー The two howling people pointed their guns at each other shouting insults at each other You could smell the gold the room's reaper slinking closer The smell of gunpowder, the explosive smell of death filled the room. Wow. A bubble of blood dripped from Rosa's mouth. Then she fell over lifelessly, like a mannequin. <laughs> Eva! I'm not a man. 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 どう引き金を引いてもその銃では人は殺せないわ安心してエスキリア said this she maneuvered the lever action with the practice hand and a smoke smelling shell casing was ejected it hit the floor with a small metallic sound the tiny sound had a disturbing ring to it ローザさんの見込みは少し甘いわ無刻印をこれだけ大量のインゴットを監禁するのなんてどれだけ大変かまるで分かってないわ見せ金に使っただけで後ろ見分け黄金伝説なんてのができちまうほど親父の時にだって大きな噂になったな無理さ監禁なんて監禁できねえ黄金の山なんてクソの山と同じだぞ10トンもの黄金が水面下で監禁されていて次期当主夫婦が開始これで目立つのという方が無理な話だわ警察沙汰にしない方がいいこの島を吹き飛ばして証拠隠滅インゴットに未練があるなら持てる分だけどうぞご勝手に10億のキャッシュカードだけで見返りは十分つまりエバネーさんが正しいのよ<笑>嬉しいわあなたと意見が一致して警察沙汰になれば何が起こるかわからない黄金の監禁だってそうだわきっとモロを出すきっかけになるわよ私たちにはどうにもならなかったあの女が現金化してくれた10億が。私たちに手に入れられる唯一のお金なのよそして10億の山分けだけでも私たちには十分すぎるわそして今ローザが死んでその分け前はさらに増えたわ私たちは5億ずつを持って島から出られるそういういことよ黄金を監禁したいなんて欲さえ捨てればこの島で起こった全てをなかったことにできるそういう仕掛けがここにはあるわ
There was no longer any reason to worry about accidental discharges or people being shot to death on this island. Everything would be erased equally by the explosion accident. No matter what happened between now and midnight the next day, everything would be rewritten by the explosion accident. しゅしろですって。バカローザ。さあ、こっちじゃいいや。よくのとは突っ張らせるからよ。自業自得だわ。しかし、キリエさん。何も打つことはなかったやろ。ローザさんかて話せば分かってくれた話や。打つ必要は
The mistake Eva just did is called short stroking, where you don't move the action forward enough before bringing it back, which can cause a jam. Right, okay. I believe you wholeheartedly, I know nothing about guns. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> クラウス兄さんはあんたを信じ的に扱うと約束したわ。でも私はそんな約束をしていない。Write <笑> it down, bunch of. <laughs> Take notes. Ay, she pulled the trigger without a trace of mercy. When the ringing of the gunfire died down, blood trickled from the witch's mouth, and she fell over onto the bed. Once again, Kirie ejected the used shell casing. The four metal sounds of used shells hitting the floor seemed to symbolize the fact that Rudolf and his wife now possessed all shares of the gold. この島からすべての仲良しごっこが消え去ったことに気づけなかったなんて。悪いね。兄貴、兄貴。ローズ。いや、that's <笑> yeah, that's something that, you know, there's a potential for that to be in, in our futures. <笑> Maybe magic team isn't so bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel you. Ma, Koitsua. Tama Tama no Nariyuki de. Kanden shite kure yo ne. Aniki to Aniki ga kenka o shite. Rosa ga sore ni maki komare. Ore ga hyoi to. Gyofu no ri o sarau. Mukashi kara no oyakusoku ja ne ka. At the start, Rudolf and Kiria hadn't planned to kill everyone. To kill everyone and take everything for themselves. Kiri had quickly realized by the size of the gun in her hands that it would probably hold five rounds at a time. Yes, both Kiri and Rudolf knew a lot about these guns. Rudolf, who had gotten his interest in old-style western guns from his father, owned a shotgun of a similar design. Since Kiri had the same skill at handling firearms, they both knew enough about these guns to enjoy shooting together. Including the witch. There had been eight people there. Six people besides the two of them. Each gun held five rounds. That was one short. They didn't have enough to kill everyone. Wow, alright, that's the <laughs> That coincidental accident had provided the missing bullet. It wasn't the second shot. The very first shot, which had accidentally killed Natsuhi, had guaranteed the result of this massacre. In this smoke and corpse-filled room of gold, the two of them wore easygoing smiles, hardly any different from the ones they usually wore. Rudolf picked up Rosa's gun. Then he fired a test shot at the wall and injected the old shell with a smooth motion like Kiria's. Kiria went to the box of bullets on the table, casually picked up a few and loaded them one after another into her gun. So I guess this was the first Twilight, right? In a way. Ah. Ah, sensitive topic. あなたはバトラ君のことを考える。公平でしょ? 
結構大変なの分かってるでしょ Kiryu's voice had grown cold. Kiryu had acted warmly towards Butler because that had been the adult thing to do. He was Rudolph's son, so she just tried to avoid being unkind. But underneath, he was the son of Asmu, the woman whose death had done nothing to quell the hate Kiryu harbored towards her. Now that she had, been, she had given birth to Enja and finally built up a new family, was Butler's return really such a happy thing for her? ハラを <laughs> Straight to the heart. Oh. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> so Betlo <laughs> yelled wildly into the receiver. When he said at this time of night, George and Jessica turned to look. Um, George and Jessica turned to look, sorry. Yeah. According to the clock, it was past midnight. It might be a normal time to be told to brush their teeth and go to bed, but they couldn't understand what this test was all about. わかったよ。変わるぜ。上司の兄貴にうちの親父から。もしもし、変わりました。上司です。いや、exactly <笑> that. <笑> おお、ジョージ君が。こんな時間に住まねえな。寝てたわけじゃねえだろ。みんなでいろいろ盛り上がってたんだろ。そんなところです。マリアちゃんは寝てて。あ、あいや。目が覚めたみたいです。それで何の
おかしなクイズみたいなものを作ったみたいだ当主の心構えとは何ぞえ Of course, George felt as though something wasn't right. However, Kinza was famous for doing radical things on a whim. Even this strange test seemed plausible once he heard that it was a sudden idea of Kinza's. But even in that case, if he wanted to test them one by one, why wouldn't he call them out one by one? Like an interview, they should just have to wait in the reception room and go when they were called. Why would two people be called to different places at the same time? The plan didn't seem to make sense, which made George feel as though he was missing something. しかし、なんだってジョージ君は礼拝堂前なんだろうな。じい様がね、特に要望してる。よくはわからねえが、二人きりで話したいことがあるそうだ。おじい様が僕に。何の話だろうな。ジョージ君は孫の中で一番優秀だからな。何か特に話したいことでもあるんじゃねえか。まとにかくそういうわけだすぐに移動してくれ礼拝堂の方には俺も行くことになってるさっさと済ませようぜお互い風邪をひいちまうわそうですかわかりましたでは僕は礼拝堂の前ジェシカちゃんは客前はいそれでは後ほど Just what sort of test, what sort of private conversation could Kinzo want to have at this time of night? However, it was a well known fact that Kinzo didn't have very long to live. It was conceivable that he had some last words for each of his individual descendants. Inside George's mind, the faint feeling that something was wrong was replaced by curiosity and a desire to meet Kinzo directly and hear the details. George sat down the receiver and quickly explained to the others. 聞いたの通りだよおじいさまが僕たち全員に何かのテストをしたいと言ってるあーテスト何年かぶりに書斎から出てきたと思ったらこんな時間にテストごっこかよたくじいさまめ何を考えてやがんだそれに関しては僕たちの親も同感のようだよかなり揉めてるみたいだま揉めたところでじいさまには勝てないんだろうけどなそういうことだね仕方がない当主様の命令だからね従おうまず最初は僕とジェシカちゃんが呼ばれてる僕は礼拝堂へジェシカちゃんはお屋敷の客前だそうだ俺とマリアは追って連絡があると思うよここで待っててマリア、who was now fully awake, seemed to be very excited about this unexpected midnight test. じゃあ、俺たちは留守番してるぜ。うん。じゃあ、行ってくれよ。もう待ってるみたいだし。次期投手は孫の誰かにね。ま、私には好都合だぜ。誰かに押し付けるチャンス。ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハじゃあねまた後で My heart
<laughs> no, the other part um, <laughs> doesn't want them to die. <laughs> It's just the other part kind of understands how they're like the rationale that they arrived at to play along with it, you know. I just wish they'd questioned it a bit more. Rudolf put down the receiver and stood up. Sat I know, I know. At this point, I spend so much time with these characters. They're not just like sprites on a screen. I have an emotional connection with a lot of them. So it affects me to read this, you know, even though it's just a game. <laughs> oh, Seku. I'm a Oh my god. Next to Rudolf Gorda was lying face up. His face was covered by a crossword puzzle book. However, its pages were stained with blood, and there was no need to move the book to imagine how he had met his beautiful end. What? <laughs> おやじの気まぐれってことにしとけ。誰も疑いやしね。じゃあ、手分けしていきましょう。私はジェシカちゃんを。あなたはジョージか。おう。手際よく済ませて、のんびりコーヒーでも<笑> <手際よく済ませて>、<笑> Kiria smiled coldly. It probably would have been safer to call them out one by one and finish them off together. However, Kiria had chosen to have her husband work separately. She wanted to measure Rudolf's resolve. Okay. If she was the only one who got her hands dirty and Rudolf just watched, his heart would not be as dedicated to this venture. By having him dirty his own hands, she could make him truly determined to see this thing through. Kiri understood the sort of mind game better than anyone else. Rudolf reflexively averted his gaze from the cold glint in her eyes. But then he just shrugged and answered her question. あたり前だろ。10億の金が手に入るかどうかの瀬戸際にいるんだ。俺も男だぜ。人生に二度とないチャンスを棒に振るつもりはねえさ。それでこそルドルフさんよ。私はここ一番のチャンスを逃さない人
Kieran lifted up her gun again and pulled on the lever. To eject the casing from the bullet she had killed Goda with. Eva was holding Hideyoshi's body and crying. She hadn't been shot at all. The bullet had grazed the side of her head and missed. She hadn't been playing dead. She really thought she had been shot. When Kiryu's gun spat fire, Eva felt something swift and fierce scrape past her head before feeling lightheaded and fainting. Then later on, she woke up in the now silent room of the gold. The corpse of her beloved husband lay beside her, along with the corpses of Kraus, Natsuhi, and Rosa. It was a room of death and piled up bodies. When she had cried all she could over Hideyoshi's body, she realized that she still had something she needed to do. They're trying to use the bomb to blow up everything, to bury this whole island with an explosion accident. Eva checked the clock and was proven right. As expected, the switch was set to the right, which meant that it was active. Eva moved, the flip, uh, moved to flip it to the left and stopped. That's right. As long as this switch points to the right, everything that happens on this island will disappear into a night of illusion. Yes, this is an illusion. No matter what happens tonight, everything will become muddled and hidden away. <laughs> When she looked at the table with the box of bullets, she saw signs that they had grabbed several large handfuls of bullets from the box. It clearly showed that they planned to use that many bullets. I have to fight. If only to protect just the life of my precious son. The gun that I dropped when I was shot is stuck with the lever handle open. No matter how hard I pull, it won't open any further, and it won't close again. A bullet must have gotten jammed and broken it. It's just as Kitty has said, loading a bullet is tough if you aren't used to it. In Hideyoshi's hand was Krauss's gun, which he had been trying to pick up. Eva took it, prayed to her husband one more time, and tugged on the lever handle. With a light metallic sound, the golden casing spun through the air and bounced off the ground. When she timidly tried to push the lever back, this time it returned to its original place without any resistance. There was another metallic clang. It was the sound of a new bullet being loaded. In the game so far, various people have been suspected of being the culprit or an accomplice. The only difference now was that Rudolf and Kirie were those suspects. However, that was the most aggravating development possible for Enja. Even Leon was full of painful thoughts. They had been lucky enough to solve the epitaph, which was the only miracle that could lead to a game with no victims. However, so you thought! Bazinga! <laughs> How ironic that they were unable to prevent the tragedy. Does this mean that we aren't allowed to have a future where we all happily return from this island alive? Even if the epitaph is miraculously solved before the crime of occurs. There will be... Absolutely 
no miracles. Absolutely no miracles. Okay. I recalled those words which I had heard in one of the fragments Burn Castle had shown me. ベルンカステルさん、あなたは私にこの世界の素晴らしさを教えてくれた。そんなあなたがエンジェルを傷つけるためだけにこんな物語を紡ぐとは信じたくない。ゲームマスターがあなたであることはもう私にも分かっているん
Of course it was strange that he should be called out to a place like this at a time like this. Of course. And yet, how could he have guessed that something was wrong? How could he have guessed that something was this wrong? That's indeed the right question. After all, his own uncle had told him that his grandfather was calling for him from the family conference. How could he have gotten suspicious? これなら背後から脳天をズドンとやった方が慈悲があったよ。何もわからねえうちにズドンじゃあまりに無慈悲かと思ったんだが、どうやら逆だったらしい。どうして、ルルフォーチさん、あんなに優しかったおじさんがど
で人は。Was I ever ready for anything? <laughs> That's the question. Do I have to be?、Uh, the ruthless trigger forestalled any further questions. George's hands, which had been covering his wounds, dropped lifelessly. After Rudolph saw the last glimmer of life leave him, he let out the deeply exhausted sigh he'd been holding back for some time. <laughs> Rudolph looked up into the dark, rainy sky. The raindrops hitting him full in the face and laughed with an indescribable expression, his tongue hanging out. <laughs> Rudolph started laughing. This was probably just the thing Kitty had hoped for. It had taken some effort to kill George. Though he had been merciless, the last traces of conscience in Rudolph's heart had probably slowed him down. However, now that he had killed someone with his own hands, a turning point that few people ever reach. Rudolph had finally awakened. No, he finally understood. Because she is a person who intentionally breaks her heart, yeah. <sighs> I've scammed dozens of unfortunate saps and buried them in debt. Several of them probably ended up bankrupt, and some of those might have hanged themselves on the c o n And I always laughed, saying that wasn't my problem. That's all there is to it. The only difference now is that, for the first time, I've dealt the final blow with my own hands. Rudolph's <laughs> evil laugh rang out. The laugh was so purely evil it was almost refreshing. Evil that still has a conscience and thinks itself good is far more repulsive to behold. If a man commits himself to an evil act, how much more pleasant and graceful it is when he is honest about his intentions. Yeah. In that sense, Rudolph's evil smile and laugh truly were pleasant and graceful. Sure, you can twist your mind into a pretzel and justify something like that, fine. And so, surely the brutal bloody stage of the dining hall was also refreshing. A clang, a thud, a crack, a squish, what the heck? A strange mixture of these sounds kept repeating over and over at the same tempo. Each time a red splash landed on the nearby dangling tablecloth. Jessica chan. Kikoeteru? Kire asked this with the sort of smile any aunt might make to her knees. However, Jessica didn't answer. There was nothing particularly surprising about this. After all, by now, her nose was broken, her eyes had been smashed, her teeth had been knocked out, and not only her nose, but her entire face was now hardly recognizable as a face, just a lump of bloody flesh. k 
Okay, I finally stopped her task of repeatedly smashing Jessica's face with the stock of her gun. Still sitting on top of Jessica, Kitty had tossed her gun to the side, pulled a compact out of her pocket, and looked at her own face in the mirror. Then finally she realized that her face was covered by speckles of fresh blood. Why do you overkill though? Don't <laughs> I'm kidding, give me my cup. Wow. Why do you overkill? The others, she just shot them, like, couldn't care less. But here, hmm. <laughs> With a muffled laugh, Kiria shakily rose to her feet. Jessica wasn't moving anymore. Oh, oh god. <laughs> At least it will be an answer and I can take it and try to move on. <laughs> She had been convulsing a bit until a second ago, but now she was still as a stone. Yeah. Okay. Kiri pulled the tablecloth off and used it like a towel to wipe the blood from all over her body. However, instead of taking the blood off, it just smeared it around. I was about to say, wouldn't that just like... Bullshit around? It's not gonna clean it. Ugh. And did nothing to remove the stench of blood and death that covered her. When she got tired of smearing blood over her the tablecloth, Kitty walked over to the extension telephone in the corner of the room. Then she dialed the number for the cousin's room in the guest house. もしもし、私、今度はバトラ君の場合、今度はバトラ君が礼拝堂前に行けちょうだい。ええ、そう。マリアちゃんの指示は受けてないわ。そこで待ってたわ。ええ、しっかりね。バトラ君が時期当初に
うまく騙すシナリオも用意してるさ頑張ってねわたしもできることなら演者の大好きなお兄ちゃんが爆発事故に巻き込まれないことを願ってる分かってるさじゃあ俺は礼拝堂に戻るぜルドルフさんなんだバトラ君が納得しなかったら分かってるその時はズドンバトラ君は私との再婚に抗議して家を飛び出すくらいに行動力のあるけど中途半端な丸め込み方で後日にいろいろと騒がれたら彼は私たちの命取りになるのよ分かってな俺を信じろもしバトラ君が不信感を持ってると私が判断したならその時は私の手で殺すわ私の子供じゃないんだ<笑>分かってるだからキリエ一つだけ約束してくれ何もしバトラーをうまく丸め込めて島から3人で出られた出られた<笑>バトラーのことを二度と私の子供じゃないみたいなことを言うなお前は母なんだから頼む<笑>いいわ約束してあげる。キリアシュラグでなんすらだし、ロードブレッツ。あなたは礼拝堂へ。私はバトラ君が出て行った頃を見計らって、ゲストハウスの連中をすべて片付けるわ。Very wholesome. ペナルテン。<笑>大丈夫か一人で。そっちこそ。Hey, hey, hey. Butler left the guest house under an umbrella. He had been called to the area in front of the chapel, just like George had been. Not even half an hour had passed since the time George and Jessica had been called out. Apparently, this test didn't last too long. Complaining all the way, Butler strolled off into the rain. Also, oh, oh, sorry, almost immediately he was swallowed up by the darkness of the rose garden and passed out of sight. And then, Kirie could be seen coming out from the darkness of the rose garden. Kirie? Her right hand held the gun, her left an umbrella. Her inner pocket contained the master key ring she had stolen from Goda. Her right pocket had a handful of bullets. Her left held a knife she had taken from the kitchen. She was a carefully and perfectly outfitted murderer. Another bolt of lightning struck down from the swirling skies. It lit up only half of Kiria's face. Her cheek was still covered with Jessica's blood. Under the eaves, Kiria folded up her umbrella, smiled, and spoke to no one. Tadaima, Minna. Oh, I see. Rudolf could be seen under the eaves of the chapel. He had hidden his gun in the nearby shadows and was now smoking a cigarette. Sure. He glanced over at the place he had stowed his gun. The cigarette smoke began to pleasantly cloud his mind. 
Butler isn't a kid anymore. He's an adult who can choose his path through life as he pleases. When animals grow up, it's normal for them to leave their group and go on a journey. Humans are the only ones that keep treating them like kids, even after they get big. He puffed out those words along with the smoke. When Butler came, he didn't intend to voice those regrets of his. Rudolf had already determined to play the part of the evil murderer who kills for money. <sighs> At that moment, he heard the sound of someone stepping on gravel. He looked up, thinking that Butler had finally arrived. But the sound had come from the direction opposite of the mansion. <gasps> Eva, yep. With the face obscured by anger and tears, Eva slowly walked closer, her gun raised. Her husband had been killed right in front of her. She probably wouldn't even hesitate. Realizing that a gun, uh, quivering with anger, was pointed right at his chest, Rudolf backed away. As he pretended to back away, he approached the gun he had hidden in the shadows. Oh, as Eva had said, it really had been a half-baked, pointless thing to say. Rudolf would have said anything if he thought it would calm Eva's emotions before she pulled the trigger, which she looked capable of doing at any moment now. Then Rudolf's foot came in contact with his gun. <laughs> Rudolf waved as though George was coming from behind Eva. Oh no. Let Eva's attention turn in that direction. That idiot. My simple big sister has always been a sucker. Oy, I bet she won't be a sucker in this moment. My bet is on Eva. <laughs> oh, sorry. I uh, pressed a bit too hard. Uh, yeah, so there was a... Uh... <laughs> Die. Yep. Gunfire. Okay. Then a bit later, the sound of something heavier than rain drip dropping onto the cobblestone floor. Yep. <laughs> the bullet Eva fired had struck Rudolf square in the chest. The bullet Rudolf fired had missed, landing near Eva's feet. <laughs> he dropped the gun into a puddle with a splash, staggered backwards and leaned against the wall of the chapel. <laughs> Eva dashed up to him, kicked away the gun that had fallen into a puddle, and grabbed Rudolf by the collar. Yeah, 
ドルフあったエヴァフセッシュハルオウェイスベンエブルトゥシー・トゥー・ハルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルそれくらいで気は晴れねえだろうが。Amazing voice acting again? Yeah. Oof. A bolt of lightning turned everything white. However, the wall of the chapel was stained blood red. A red splash, like a crushed tomato, covered the wall behind Rudolph's head. Yeah, they're. They must have had a field day with this one. <laughs> Then, leaving a red trail behind him, Rudolph slid down the wall, sat on the ground, and fell over. Eva dashed off towards the bushes. She found George's corpse almost immediately, screamed, and broke down sobbing. Rudolph's body,、uh, sorry, Rudolph's bloody corpse was exposed to the rain that ran down off the eaves. His eyes were still wide open. A ragged fist sized hole had been torn open in the back of his head, exposing its contents to the open air. Thank you for that image. Inside was mist flesh and bright red jelly. Why? 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 I don't need these things. Gosh. Oh. That goop, which looked like someone had mixed it up with the spoon, dripped from his eyes, nose, ears, mouth, and the hole in his head. What was that? What was that? Inja clutched at her head, sobbing and moaning. Her father had dirtied his hands with murder over money, and on top of that, he had faced such a cruel end, and Enja had been forced to see his corpse. It was hard to imagine a more painful experience for a daughter to go through. I'm totally fed up with this. It's completely meaningless. b e r u n c a s t e l l san! i r u n d e s h o d o k o k a n i m o k o n o g a m e o y a m e t e k u d a s a i n a n n o i m i m o n a i As if in answer to that yell, a black shadow appeared a few seats in front of them. There she is. Umineka really proves how letting someone's brain fill in the gaps can sometimes be far worse than anything you can show. Yeah. Yeah. It does that. Plenty. And consistently. <laughs>、uh, or perhaps she had been sitting there the whole time. Maybe we just couldn't see her until we realized she was there. It was without a doubt the back of Burncastle's head. The witch turned around with bored eyes, as though the two who were yelling were the strange ones. <sighs> I wonder how many times the word,、ne、the phrase, sorry, nekobako is. <laughs> I feel like I hear it every couple of lines. <laughs>、mm, the games are like messages, or maybe more like a roundabout love letter, conveying a single message over several games. But we already understand. We know that endless tales can seep out of the sealed two day cat box. I bet you didn't see burn the whole time. Aww. 
And beyond that, I even know the culprit and the motive. That has already been revealed and has nothing to do with this game. <laughs> that comparison is also quite overused. <laughs> and I guess they in other words as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, a phrase out of all of the overused things. <laughs> good one, good one, Mancho. だからこれ以上、このようなゲームを繰り返す理由はないはずです。もしこれがあなたと私たちのゲームだと言うなら、私たちはすでに答えを得ている。ゲームは終了していいはずです。うっさいわよ、あんた。静かにしろってベルンが
Goda was murdered, right? But that didn't imply uh, everyone else. Oh, thank you for the BD sketch. So, she had a lot of people who were in the world. So said the one who had stained the guest house red. So Okay. Humans outside the cat box would probably never understand what Kiria was saying. Only she, shut inside the cat box of the explosion accident, could understand the true meaning of her words. Outside the rain poured down heavily. Kiria almost picked up an umbrella, but then stopped suddenly as if she'd just thought of something. Then she started walking out into the rain, not caring at all whether she got wet or not. Did the murderer not want an umbrella to get in the way of her pointing her gun? Or was she hoping that the rain could act as a shower to get the blood of her? Kiria stopped walking, as though something unexpected had caught her attention. However, this time it was no whim of hers. <laughs> あら、エバネさん。ショックだわ。あの距離で外してたなんて。私も驚いてるわ。まさか自分が生きてたなんてね。礼拝堂裏の地下階段から戻ってきたの。なら。ええ。礼拝堂の前でルドルフにも会った
数手遅れで私と同じ答えに行き着いたはず私は殺人鬼じゃないわいいえなり損ねただけの立派な殺人鬼よエヴァ姉さんは暴発に救われただけキリアルチャプター3 <笑>、yeah. あの幸運がなければそして私があなたより先に実行に移さなければあなたが私の役をやっていたそれだけはあなたがいくら否定しようとも変わらない異なる未来の真実なのよ<笑> <Interesting. 笑>訳のわからないこと言わないで However, on the inside, Eva understood. Back then, she probably had been saved by that coincidental misfire. If the argument had continued much longer, she would surely have grown a desire to kill Kraus and the others, and might even have carried it out. She simply could not deny the existence of that demon deep within her heart. Only the theater goers knew. They knew that she could become a killer in another world. And Kirie, who did not have the theater going ability, knew this fact also. Apparently, she really was an extraordinary person. So for some time, Eva could only grind her teeth in silence, still pointing her gun. I don't think I'm gonna like this. <laughs> ないわけがない。そのあなたがどうしてこれだけのことができるの。子供なんて勝手にできるの。そういう話じゃないでしょう。子は貸すがいっていうわいね。それが何？子は夫をつなぎ止めておくための貸すがいなの。Man, what a low blow for Enge. Like, it's the absolute worst of the fucking worst. All piled in one. Great. Rudolf san ni, watashi no koto o mitome sase. Ano onna kara kare o torimodosu tame no kasugai datta. Demo, Rudolf san wa anata no koto. Yeah, and you're surprisingly unaffected. Datta ra. Wakaru de shou. わかるってどういう意味いやそう considered私はもう誰かの妻でもないし母の積もりもないということよ私は私キリエルドルフさんが死んだ今後ろ宮でさえないわ私は私の徳になるように生きるそうね ルドルフは死んであんたは妻ではなくなったかもしれないでもエンジェちゃんがいるでしょあんたはまだ母であり続けるはずよ言ったでしょカスガイってルドルフさんがいなくなった今エンジェは私にとって必要なものじゃないの I don't remember in which episode it was said, but it was said. あんたそれが母親が子に対して言うことなのねば姉さんやめましょうよ綺麗事は綺麗事私たちって子供が欲しくて結婚したの違うでしょ好きな男と一緒に暮らしたいから結婚したんでしょそして結婚したんならその男を一生手放したくないと思うでしょ子供はそのための武器じゃないそんなこと考えて子供作ったりなんかしないの
Not that I want to uh, close my eyes and imagine Kirie as being a perfect person because I, it's okay. I know she is, and we've seen we've seen her dark sides. But this is a little bit extreme. Like it does make me feel like, mm, how does this fit? Because it, it's just too much. I I don't know. I wasn't trying to bully Rosa. I was just pointing out. Rosa had the child and her man still walked out on her. So what Kirie is saying is just... It's insane. <laughs> uh. Kirie kept on speaking emotionlessly, ignoring the falling rain. Her relaxed smile did not falter for an instant. ルドルフさんを縛り付けるための、ただの鎖。あるいは家族ごっこをするための子供の役というものかな。チェスピース。Man, man, Kiri. <笑><笑> I have a hard time uh, accepting that as something that uh, Kiri actually feels. But, anyway. This feels incredibly targeted <laughs> against Enjie. And by this, I don't mean Kiria's lines here, but just like this whole game, whatever it is. Maybe Kasumi was on to something. <笑>エンジェちゃんの母なの。エンジェなんかしたことじゃないわよ。あんなクソガキ。可愛いと思ったことなんて一度だってないわよ。あんたって人。<笑> あなただってもう家族ごっこから解放されたでしょ。謳歌しましょうよ。女の自由を。感謝してほしいわ。ジョージ君も殺してあげたんだ。この人でなしが。The two yells and the sound of gunfire thundered across the dark rose garden. Slowly Eva fell backwards. Then she landed in a puddle, scattering countless drops of water. Across from her Kiria spun around as though dancing. Beautiful black rose petals scattered around her. They were dark red rose petals. As those rose petals sprayed from her throat, she spun around in a circle and slowly crumpled. Then she fell to the ground, sending muddy water flying. The two women had both fired their guns and fallen. However, when the thunder roared, it was only Eva who sat back up. Eva hadn't been shot. Kiria's intensity had made her fall backwards, but 
the bullet had once again only grazed her. But Kiria is a good shot. Missing twice, it's kinda... huh? Eh? Eva cursed her good luck. Why couldn't this luck have saved her husband or her son? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I misread that one. Um, or just, again, I have trouble putting images or turning words into images. Uh, but I f felt like it was said that Jessica grabbed the gun, right? Seriously, a miracle upon miracles for missing Eva twice. Yeah, I thought uh, I thought there would absolutely be no miracles. <laughs> What's happening? Anyway. When Kiria heard this, blood dripped from her grinning mouth and she seemed to say something in response. However, her voice came out only as globs of blood from the hole in her throat, not words. Spell evasion without a <laughs> good one, bear. <laughs> but saying that did nothing to calm Enja's sobs. I don't blame her. Even if she knows it's just a game, she's been forced to see not only her mother's death. But also her mother announcing that she was the culprit of a mass murder, who didn't even love her daughter. Anyone would sob after hearing that. When Leon yelled this, the theater suddenly went pitch black, swallowed in darkness. However, that wasn't enough to shock Leon. Leon continued to yell Burncastle's name into the darkness, telling the witch to stop this game. Then a single beam of light shone down upon the stage. There was Claire, the one who had appeared for just a second right before this cruel game began. <laughs> Claire didn't answer. In fact, it looked as though she hadn't even heard. Her eyes were blank and you couldn't tell what she was looking at. In fact, she was even forgetting to blink. She looked just like a doll. Then another beam of light lit up the side of the stage. Under that light stood Burncastle. At the same time, though there appeared to be no one in the audience, a large applause rang out. <laughs> Brancasso raised her right hand in response to the applause. She kept doing so until the applause died down. Mm, from the Chitari clones! <laughs> <laughs> It is quite the cheesy clapping sound effect. <laughs> it's perfect. Leon, <laughs> Sono 
ではそこに立っている彼女は一体死体覚醒じゃないよだからもちろん中身はあり綺麗な姿で隠しているけれど内側にはドロドロの腹渡に詰まっているそれが感激の魔女というもの。Okay. Burncastle pressed the blade of her Reaper Scythe against Claire's stomach, then slowly slid it across. Then, along the line she traced Claire's dress was sliced open. It was now clear that the scythe she held was not a fake one for theatrical use. And it was clear just what she planned to do next that made her cruel smilers, smile so fitting. Angel, <laughs> 私が値を上げると思ったあんたの悪趣味なゲームにこれ以上泣き叫んでたんかやるもんですかあんたもそしてリオンも二人とも勘違いをしているわ私はゲームマスターなんかじゃないこの物語も私が紡いだものなんかじゃないじゃあそこのドレスの女がゲームマスターいいえ違いますそんなはずはないんですならゲームマスターは誰です誰がこの悪趣味な物語を紡いでいるんですかまだわからないの何がわからないというのよエンジンあなたはわずかな奇跡に全てをかけて身を投げ出してみせたわ私はその勇気に敬意を表して1986年10月4日からの2日間の世界に招いてあげたあなたの目的は何だった家族を連れ戻すことそれはとても難しいことで奇跡に愛されなければ到底ありえないことだったそれは覚悟していたのね覚悟の上よそして私はまだお兄ちゃんもお母さんもお父さんも諦めていない諦めないのは勝手それはあなたのゲームだもの私は応援しないし干渉もしないあなたという駒を使ったゲームを私はすでに十分楽しんだしあなたはもう私にとって用のない存在先生するわねならどうして私はここにいるの招待したのはあんたじゃないのえー、そうよ招待したのは私私の駒としてひとときを楽しませてくれたそあれ<笑>魔女式のってわけね楽しませてもらったわよこの下道が僕もお父さんやお母さんをこんなこんなゲームにエンジェあなたは家族を連れ戻すことを願ったでももう一つ願っていたわ覚えてる覚えてないわよあの日何があったかを知ることよ。ヘイフフマン。ああ、ディストラクション、そう、サードンダークスクレイジー。ああ、ああ、ディストラクション、そう、サードンダークスクレイジー。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、
Didn't Angel leave on her journey with Amaksa because she longed to answer that question? So that the one, so they got any. Leon realized what Brunkasu was getting at, and because of that, Leon was too shocked to speak. The game master isn't Burncastle or Claire. Then who is it? That's the wrong question. There is no game master. That could mean only one thing. Enji, mada wakaranai no? Nani ga yo? Kore ga shinjits na no yo. 1986 nen 10 gatsu 4 ka kara no 2 ka kan no nekobako no nakami yo. Kono ato. エヴァは、クワドリアンで爆発を逃れて生き残るわ。そして、猫箱の中身を欲する世間は納得しようとしなかったわ。そして、亡き夫に代わり、会社を切り盛りしようと張り切れば張り切るほどに敵を作り、彼女が壮大な陰謀の女王であるかのようなイメージを作り上げていた。彼女は真実を語りたか
エンジンエンジン As Enja held her head and screamed, the blood dripping from her finally grew so thick that it started scattering all over the place. <laughs> then bit by bit her body began to melt. No, to fall apart. Then bits of her began to pile up on the chair until she was nothing but a pile of guts and scraps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they live happily ever after. <laughs> that doesn't fit. Oh, man. Hey. <laughs> right here after Burns unhinged laughter. Is it good? <laughs> I'm good. I don't need to need to see more for tonight. I think that was more than enough. <laughs> The higher the peaks of me necro goes, the lower the low lows. The party is though maybe things will get better low. <laughs> maybe things will get better. Well it does not work with Umineko in any sort of context. <laughs> Good place to stop, okay. Sweet dreams tonight. Sure yeah, surely. <laughs> yeah, no, for for tonight it's been it's been enough. As a ninja fan, this scene crushed my soul. Yeah, I mean... Ninja's been through a lot. Okay, alright. Looking forward to that, those stages. Uh. Uh, here we are. Bunch ready for a long uh, post uh, episode 7, I, uh, I suppose you mean stream, I <laughs> feel. I don't know. <laughs> Depending on your availability and your desire, desires, uh, we can have that happen. So, Burn being uh, tired of being the bad guy was her biggest lie yet. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Kitty, a best mom. Yes or no, I say yes. I I don't know. I don't I don't know what to make of these. It's well it was a lot. Um meh. For now I, I need to just take a break and recover from this and then we can chat and we'll see about it. <sighs> yep. Nothing is uh, as black and white to say things like, or to draw um, um, very clear-cut conclusions about anyone. So, people can kill over money. Sold the whole no magic truth so well. I was absolutely shocked by Rikishi's writing here. Uh, Yeah, you mean in, here in this particular episode, but I feel like that was the theme all along, kind of. Um, I guess I also had an extra little thing there that the murder seemed so atrocious that I felt like, oh, come on, it has to be something a little bit more than just the money, you know? Um... Damn. More twists are coming next week, yeah. Yes, we'll see. Uh, I was burning psychos eating good tonight. <laughs> well, happy to make you happy at least. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you being here, Burncast. Uh, we went through seven chapters of magic illusions, fake scenarios continuously, and reaching this climax left me without words. Yeah, I guess. It's just... Yeah, it... Um... I suppose we still have some things to see, right, before we can discuss this thing as a whole. Uh, but it just... Uh, the, the way that it 
devolved. Um, like I said in the beginning, it was just pure humanity at play. Just no magic, no tricks, no illusions, no witches, just humans. Uh, that sums it up. I was waiting for bunny girls to pop out and use magic for me. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like the fitting context for that. Yeah, I, I do my best. Uh, I do my best. Um, it'd be hard sometimes, though. <laughs> right. Oh, oops. There we go. Much better. No bunny girls. Not not right now. At the very least. <laughs> uh. Hmm. There's a bit of a tea leaf. <laughs> Why are you thanking me for that? <laughs> Please don't remind me that that happened. <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> I don't even know with what kind of tone I read that. I was. I felt like I was having an out of body experience. <laughs> when Natsuki died first, I remember the Lion King. So I said in episode four that um she was luckless to the end. Oh, Natsuki. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure, there's still more content to come, so I'm curious where that can be. Um, but to turn it around, I don't know, I don't have hopes for such things. <laughs> uh, a new ringtone? What do you mean, Zaku? <laughs> Oh, guys. <laughs> I had to do something to cope with it, okay? I, I had to laugh. <laughs> Burns with truth uses words on point yet again tonight. Mm, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. Well, we'll pick it up from there next time. Yeah. Um... If uh, Bancho is kind and has the availability, we can chat. I don't, I don't know after this how how much I can offer, but I'll do my best. Um, happy times on Tuesday. Oof. Mm, I have no expectations. <laughs> I, I'll just, I'll just sit down and take it for what it is because I don't know what else to do. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, until then, there's a weekend to look forward to and uh, some umineko less days to kind of calm down after this. <laughs> Bancho must ramble, you will have the space to ramble. <laughs> I shall provide it. <laughs> Great, parenthesis, painful. Yeah, that's the perfect description for this. <laughs> perfect. Uh, all right you guys right take care have have a nice weekend um chill and take a break from all of this madness and uh, i guess we will resume it uh, tuesday all right well we will see you then yeah for now i will say good night love you all take care good do all the good things relax eat well uh if the weather allows it, go for a walk. And yeah, see you with more of my pain on Tuesday. Ugh. Bye. Night night.